We present a pipeline for emergency landing of multi-rotor unmanned aerial vehicles, short UAVs. A deep reinforcement learning policy is trained to fly the robot to safe areas as quickly as possible by using semantic and depth information. The robots are initialized at random starting positions and are tasked to land safely. Initially, they either don't find the landing spot or collide against obstacles. As the policy gathers more experience, the number of successful runs increases. When the policy is fully trained, it guides the robots to safe areas quickly. We test our policy in environments not experienced in training. We show a comparison against a baseline, the approach by Mittal et al. and PX4 in one of the models. The successful runs are shown in green, while failures are shown in red. While our policy flies the UAVs to the ground safely, the baseline planner collides most of the time. The approach by PX4 also leads to collisions, while Mittal et al.'s approach generates long, intertwined paths. In this example, our planner reaches the highest success rate and the lowest time to land. Our policy is directly employed in a real mission without any additional fine-tuning, landing the robot safely on grass. The policy can deal with high levels of noise as well as the latency introduced by offloading the semantic and depth inference to the cloud. However, during testing we also experienced failures with our policy. In this example, the UAV almost collides with a lamppost that was not captured in the depth map obtained by depth completion. In the second example, because of semantic misclassification, the UAV tries to land on bushes. We anticipate that these failure cases will become less relevant as depth completion and semantic segmentation methods mature. To summarize, in this work we propose a deep reinforcement learning pipeline for autonomous emergency landing of multi-rotors. Our policy outperforms the state of the art and the commercial planner in our experiments. More importantly, our approach allows us to train the policy exclusively in simulation and to directly deploy it in real-world missions. Thank you.